Hi and welcome to your 17th iOS programming tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to open a specified URL in Safari by clicking a button within your application. So what we'll have is we'll have a very simple app and it only takes one line of code and the user will click a button within your application and it will take them to Safari and open a URL that we have previously set. I'll then in the end show you how to set it up so the user can enter a URL and then click go and it will actually take them to Safari and open that URL. If you want to make your own web browser within an application, so have a uh, embedded web browser in your own application, I've done a tutorial on that in the past and I recommend you go and watch that. I'll put a link in the description. Anyway, let's get started. So open up Xcode and create a new Xcode project. I'll just create a single view application, but you can create any project that you want. For the product name, I'll just call this Safari Open, but you can call it again whatever you want. And again, for the organization and company identifier and class prefix, you can do whatever you want. Devices, I'll just do iPhone, but that makes no difference for this particular project. Then click Next and create your project. Now, let's go into our main.storyboard file. And we'll add in a button called Open Web Page. So, change the title of the button by double clicking on it, and I'll just change that to Open Web Page. Let me just center that. Now, let's go into our Assistant Editor and hook up an outlet. To do this, as always, click on the Tuxedo icon in the top right corner, and then make sure Automatic is selected. If it isn't, click on it and then click Automatic, and ViewController.h is selected. After the Add Interface line, add a curly bracket and press Enter for Xcode to automatically add the closing curly bracket. Then right-click on your Open Web Page button and drag it into your ViewController.h underneath that closing curly bracket but above at end. Make the connection an action and we'll call this Open Web Page. And for the event, I'll do Touch Up Inside, Argument Sender, Type ID and Connection Action. Then click Connect. Now we can go ahead and add the code to actually open the web page. So let's go back into our single view editor and go into viewcontroller.m. Inside our open web page method, we can start adding the code to open the web page. So start by typing two square brackets, UI application, shared application, then close that first curly bracket, and then type open URL. And inside where it says NSURL, let's do another square bracket and type NSURL space URL with string and then type at talking mark talking mark close the two square brackets and add a semicolon now after where it says open URL colon press enter just adding new lines to make it a bit cleaner and a bit easier to understand inside this at talking mark talking mark let's press another enter and then inside the two talking marks we can enter the address of the web page that we wish to visit I'll just do http www.youtube.com forward slash 99 cents app development. And now let's run our application and when I click on the button it should open this web page in Safari, in the Safari application. Fortunately the Safari application is built into the simulator so you can test this on the simulator. So click run and let's see if it works. You shouldn't have any bugs and if you do just go through your code. And make sure if you have added any enters um, that you've done them right after the colons. Because if you do them, say, in the middle of some text, you will get an error. Now click Open Web Page. And you're taken to the Safari application. And the address, as you can see, is youtube.com forward slash 99 cents app development. And you can see that uh, our app development page is here, our channel. And it all works as normal. And I can double click the Home button, go into Multitasking, and go back to the previous web page. Now, well, the one extra thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to add a text field so the user can enter the URL uh, which they wish to visit. For some of you, you will already know how to do this, and for some of you, you won't need to do this because you're going to a predetermined URL. But it's good to know how, so if you're interested, just keep watching. If you're not interested, be sure to like and subscribe, and see you next time. But now let's go back into our main.storyboard, and we'll start doing that extra work. So let me move the Open Web Page button up a bit. And in our objects panel, find the text field, drag that in, and then let's make this a bit wider. And I'm just going to add some placeholder text, and I'll just make it URL, so that the user knows to enter the URL there. And then you just go back into the assistant editor, remember that's the tuxedo icon, 
right click on the text field and drag it in between the two curly brackets. Make sure the connections outlet type UI text field and storage strong. I'll just call this URL field and then click connect. Now I'll go back to your viewcontroller.m and back to your single view editor. And where we previously had this URL with string and then a, and a string that we set just then, we created a whole instance then. Instead, we'll just delete that, delete the talking marks. And where the talking marks were and the address, we'll instead do URL field dot text. So that's just saying uh, our application, open a URL, and then we're just saying pretty much converting a string, which is some text, so we're converting the text to a URL. In this case, we're getting the text of the text field, and then we're converting that text to a URL, which the UI application, shared application, which is pretty much just saying the application on the phone, so it can access everything else on the phone. So if you wanted to say play background audio, you'd also call UI application, shared application, or to programmatically hide the status bar. And I've done tutorials on all of that in the past. Now let's run our application and see if we can enter some text into that text field and get it to open that web page. So I'll just type in Google this time to show that there's a change. Google.com. And if I now click open web page, we're taken to Google.com. As I entered in the text field. Again, if I double click and go back, I could change the address here to, let's say, Bing. Just to prove a point. And then click open web page again, and now I'm taken to Bing. So that's a simple way if you wanted to ever open a web page uh, not in your side of your application in an embedded web view, but actually take the user to the Safari application. There's a few things that this is very useful for. Some of them include being able to add, uh, like, a review my app on the App Store button. And what you can do is you can put the URL of your app here in the app talking mark talking marks. And that URL of the app, if it's open on a phone, will automatically redirect the user to the App Store. Uh, if you had, however, put that URL into an embedded web browser, nothing would have happened. So there are some advantages to, open web page, to opening web pages in the phone's built-in web browser, in this case, Safari. So I hope this tutorial has been useful, and if you've got any questions, comment on this video, message us directly through YouTube, visit our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash 99centsappdevelopment, or visit our website, 99centsappdevelopment.com. Be sure to like and subscribe.